The transfer window is open and Kaiser Chiefs are making waves. With their controversial decision to bring in trialists. On one hand, people are saying Kaiser Chiefs are making a very wise move because they are allowing themselves time to evaluate the players and then make sure that when they sign a player, that player fits into the system that Kaiser Chiefs is playing. And also, Zwan has backed this claim himself. On the other hand, their fans were saying, no, this is a cheap way out. Chiefs just don't want to spend money on quality players. And also, they do not have proper scouting. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo. I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a Kosi Football Club. In this video, we'll just look at five pros and five cons of bringing in trialist to Kaiser Chiefs. And the first pro, obviously, is the one that people are talking about, Uguti. Bringing in trialists allow Chiefs enough time to evaluate players. What are they good? Do they fit into the system? Because one good example that people will always make is Ugutu Lazarus Kambule was a superstar in his team, but then he came to Chiefs and then he was just flat. So bringing in a trialist will then allow the team to see what, okay, this player might be good in Zambia or wherever they are from, maybe even Turkey, whatever country they might be from but they just don't fit in Kaiser Chiefs' style. The second pro is the fact that some players may come to Chiefs just thinking it's just another team. But being around Kaiser Chiefs may also allow you to see, Wuti, okay, this is the kind of team that I'm coming to. These are the expectations that are here in this club. And if you're around the team, if you're around like the vibe just around the Kaiser Chiefs, you'll know, Wuti, there are high expectations. The fans will probably start booing you if you don't perform in the first match. So if you are around the team long enough for a month, you will know what people will start talking about you and you will see what, okay, this might not be for me. So being there, it also just allowed the team to filter out players who might not fit into the culture of the team. Not necessarily how we play, but how we do things as well. Number three, Bringing in trialist, as Uzuane has said, is the fact that it makes you see, Uguti, does this player want to add value to the club? Because there are some players who just come to Chiefs for a big paycheck. We know this. We know this, Uguti. Some people will go to these big teams just because they want money. But if the player is there with you for however long, two, three weeks, then you can see, Wuti, their mind is not where we're at. And because their mind is not where we're at, then we should send them back because we can see, Wuti, what we want as Kaiser Chiefs is not necessarily what they want as players. And it's not what they want to add to the team. They are just here for themselves. And we can't have players who are coming with that mentality. Number four, bringing in a materialist not only allows the team to see whether the player fits into the system when we are practicing, but also in game situations. For example, Ukelep, we know Guti, he played around June, July when we were doing our trials in Aie, and then he scored some goals. And then Uzwane could see Guti, okay, this guy may fit into our system, not only when we're practicing, because we know Guti, it's different when we're practicing and when we're actually playing and competing with other teams. So that's how they saw Guti Caleb fit in the system. And now, there is this guy, Omar Makovic, who's also been rumored to Guti, featured in one of the games with the Chiefs, and it looks like he might end up signing with the Chiefs. So that also gives Uzwane that extra option to see Guti, does this guy actually fit into the style when we're out there competing with other teams? Number five, which is the obvious one, is the fact that it's cost-effective for the team as a business because most of the players that they're bringing in, like okay, Le, who was the free agent, are free agents and they come and they trial and then we see, oh, it's a good player. Then we're just signing them on a free without having to pay anything. And I'm sure that makes Kaiser Chiefs very happy. Now, on to the cons. The first con, obviously, is the fact that the process sometimes takes a while because one, the player will be with the team for like two, three weeks before they can see, good, okay, this is a good player. And after that, then usually these players are from other countries. That means now sex or processor e visa for four or five or more weeks. And while that is happening, the team is lacking in depth. Case in point to Caleb. 
Kale bo afigo by trialist wa hamba ba salabam evaluator and after they evaluated him then bam sign up but then after signing him we had to wait for his visa thing to be sorted out and at that time we were playing without a striker same thing happened with Utove we were leaking calls at the back and yet Utove was still doing trials and we were just lacking in the team and that sucks and that does not help anyone because if you just go out and sign a player then you know Uti okay we've signed the player and we're done Con number two is the fact that you keep a player for three weeks and then you send them packing. That's not a good image on the team, Nguti How This player was there with them for three weeks and they couldn't make the decision because in a week you can decide, Nguti, this player is good or not. You can see what I know. Lomitaka fits. You know what you want. Aguku Nguti Zomnigeza two, three more weeks before you can let them go. E point is Ukeleb. Apparently, Ukeleb wasn't happy before Chief signed him because they were taking so long to respond to him. Because at that point now, Bona, they have the player come in, but then they take their time again to review whether he's good enough or not. And that's where it comes in, Uguti. If you just had proper structures in place you would have scouted this player to see how good they are rather than wasting three weeks of their time saying oh we're testing you now we're seeing whether you're a good striker now we're seeing if you're good going backwards now you know sometimes i feel like these trials just go way too long and that's not good and fair to the players i'm now talking ethically not just in terms of its business that's how it works because sometimes i feel like people just forget to go we are also Talking about people here, we're not just talking about robots that we can say, ah, you're not good enough, go. You know, con number three is the fact that while you are still having them on trials, you are risking other teams just jumping in and signing that player because the player is not actually signed to you. So that means other teams can just come in and sign that player and be done with you. And by the way, this is something that is similar to what happened with Ukatle Khomakateng. Now, I know Uti Chiefs did not make a bid, but it was rumored to Uti Chiefs want Umakateng, and then Richard Spade jumped in and ended up signing the player. Now, I'm saying that could happen with the same thing, Uti, we have a trialist who's still with the Chiefs, and while they're still having them trial, another team just swoops in, and they see, Uti, okay, this player... It's good enough which is trialing with the Chiefs. That means it's good enough to play in the PSL. Swoop in, they sign the player, and then we are left. Snelly YouTube. If you are enjoying this video, by the way, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you are not yet subscribed. And leave a comment. Is this good or is this bad? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, call number four. Beginning of the season, Uzwana was talking about how Utland seemed like he was preserving himself because of the injury concerns and all of that stuff. I can say the same thing with the players who are coming to trial with the Chiefs. Uguti, if you are just here and you are just merely trialing with the team, why would you do everything you can to risk challenges, make risky challenges, and just give it your all, knowing Uguti, at the end of the day, this team might not sign you. Now, other people may say, oh, that's not good mentality, that we don't want players who will not be fully committed, players will not be making my tackles. But remember, I get injured trialing, that means now my career will stall, I have no other options, I have no other place to go because the team that I was trialing with ended up kicking me out the door and I got injured while trialing with them. So I would, I would better preserve myself. Con number five, it's really going to be difficult for the player to fully integrate themselves to the team knowing Uguti, this is not certain. I might end up leaving this team. So to say that by bringing in a trialist, you will see whether they want to add value to the team or are they wanting to be committed to the team. They could want to be committed to the team, but they're uncertain. And if you're uncertain about your future, why then go all in and say, hey, guys, hey, Machita, let's hang out, hey, this and that. I like the team, blah, blah, blah. It... Players, everyone in this world, most of the time, you are looking out for yourself, Ish. I don't want to get hurt. People don't want to get hurt. So because of that, that might make other players think, hey, man, it's pointless for me to try 
and integrate myself to the team. It's pointless for me to show them what I can add to the team because my future is uncertain. Have a proper scouting. Just go scout players and see who is good enough to come and play for Chiefs. Then this thing, Nguti, we're having a my last minute fix here, my trial list. And it seems like that's now our go-to way because we did it in July. Now we're doing it again in January. That means that's our one way. Trial or not to trial. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And until next time, remember, equals. Alpelumoy.